What up, y'all? Welcome back to another cube. Hopefully we'll have a better a better go of it than last time. Patient Rebuilding is nice. It's definitely been a card that, like... I don't know, dude. Like, I feel like if I'm not just playing Mill in this cube, like, when I have the opportunity, I'm just... It's like the storm of this cube. Yeah, I'm just taking the I'm just taking the patient revealing. This card is a banana. <clears throat> Go dragons. What take like Vevictus Asmadi? Is that how you say his name? Vevictus Asmadi. You can take Mutilate here. Oh, I like Necrotol. Spectral Sailor could be fine. You may pay six life and sack three black creatures. For Demon of Death's Gate. Neck, please. <laughs> Alright, I can take Necrotol. I like Mutilate, but I don't like having to rely on Swamps. I'll take a Necrotol. Even though this white border Necrotol is real painful to look at. Oh, Scape Shift. That's a cool one. <clears throat> it's not... It's fine. It's not super exciting. Grasp of Darkness? Xanthrid Necromancer. Zathrid, not Xanthrid. There's no N. When it dies, create another 2-2. Two -two. Is it going to play tapped? No. Yes. Yes, it does. Druidic Satchel, also good. This is a decent pack. we got either Adept, Sift, Grasp, Satchel, or Necromancer. Hmm. I'm 100% playing Patient Rebuilding. I'm not super sure about the black cards. So, I think it's probably Sift or Satchel. It's really loud and abrasive. I'm going to take Sift. Oh, Confiscate. Okay, we can Confiscate. I'll take a Confiscate. I mean, the other options are, again, Greyborn Muse, Phyrexian Rager, Ratchet Bomb, White Card like Pacifism. I don't think there's any reason to go into white when you have Confiscate. Even though it has the really... <coughs> for some reason, the art direction for 7th edition was not good. It was just very weird and cartoony. Come on, people now. The mill deck feels really strong in this cube. Uh, our, the, the only saving grace for our experience against Mill is that, like, the two, two of the times we played against Mill, we had Nexus of Fate in our deck, which uh, made it very hard for our opponent to win the game. Because they would Mill us, and the Nexus of Fate would get shuffled back in. It would be our last card. We'd draw it, we'd play it, shuffle back in. They'd Mill us, shuffle back in. Draw it, play it, shuffle back in. You get it. So there's Battlefield, Return Instant or Sorcerer from your graveyard to your hand. I'm going to take Time Stop because, again, this card is good. And we'll see <clears throat> if we get a... No, no. I could see playing Brittle Effigy here. It's just removal. I could also see putting in the sideboard until I'm absolutely convinced that it's worthy of... Smile on you, brother, or everybody get together. Right now. Alright, mirror image. I don't love mirror image due to the fact that it only uh, <coughs> targets things you control. Patient Rebuilding is really good. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, like, it's just a good card. Like, you get to draw between 0 and 3 cards extra every turn. Milling them for 3 every turn is insane in a limited format. It's either Stab Wound or Tome Bound Lich. I think we can... I think we can stick with our black. I think it's probably Tome Bound Lich. The Lifelink and the Death Touch is nice. Um, the Looting is nice. Plus, Stab Wound doesn't kill everything.
Evacuation actually seems great for us. Sure, that's like a wrath of God. Alright. This deck's looking pretty sweet so far. These are some strong cards. Ding. <clears throat> <laughs> Hey, look, Vivictus Asmati came back. I want to just take Zombie Infestation. None of these cards are making the cut. Sure. Florida finally under a million degrees. Good for them, you know? Good for them. <clears throat> eh, Necromancer is actually pretty decent. Two bodies. Sure, I'll take an equilibrium. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 52 degrees Fifty-two, not bad. Tonight, low of 27 tonight. That's cold, guys. Did you know about the... That that was cold? <clears throat> Boy, this is taking a while. Two more picks. <clears throat> oh, Daring Apprentice? That seems fine. I mean, I figured I activated quite a few of yours, but all, all she did was ask the weather. <clears throat> Talent of the Telepath? This is actually pretty decent for us because not only does it let us play up to two spells, it also mills them for like seven. So... I'm going to take this. I've also been gotten with it a few times. So, we'll see. First pickable? I don't know. Seven cards? Seems good. <clears throat> Intruder alarm? No. Quicken? Meh. Knight of Infamy? Eh. Freebooter? Eh. Evan Carr? Eh. Might just be Freebooter here. I also like Knight of Infamy. Knight of Infamy is actually, yeah, actually pro white is pretty decent. Like I feel like this is a deck that A is gonna want to wipe the board, so you're not gonna want to give them their card back, and B, like you're gonna want to deal with creatures, not non-creature spells. So I think I'm gonna take Knight here. Oh, Sky Diamond. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a that's a picker upper. Let's see in the sky with diamonds. Be -do -be -do. Nexus of Fate. There it is. That's the card we wanted. Oh, beautiful. This is just such a good card. Not only does it, like, trigger patient rebuilding... Actually, is it... It's, it's your turn, right? At the beginning of your upkeep. Yeah, it triggers it multiple times. But it protects you from the other mill decks, which is insane. <laughs> you ever go... <laughs> oh, God. Hi, Diamond, bro. You ever been diamonding? You ever go diamonded with your daddy? <laughs> 
I don't know why it's so funny. I have no idea. No, I've never been <laughs> diamond in with my daddy. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably Agent. I feel like it's Sky Diamond. Did I take the Sky Diamond of the Agent? Man. <clears throat> I would love Teferi's tutelage and Sphinx's tutelage. I want all the tutelages. I want to be teaching classes here. Ooh, Chasm Skulker. That's a good dude. I want to change my keyword, wake keyword to computer, but it became impossible to watch Star Trek. Isn't that why you change it to computer? Because you want it to sound like Star Trek? Computer. <clears throat> Isn't that why you do that? So it's, like, it makes sense, right? Like, that feels like it's literally just working as intended. You have to play the diamond now. Mike said so. I'm, I, it's, I, I'm in. It's in, my, it's in the deck. Why wouldn't I play it? Okay, no, 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 no. <clears throat> I kind of just want to take Soren's Vengeance. Like, 10 life is 10 life. It's not Necromancer or Soren or Knight, so yeah, I'll just take the Soren's Vengeance. Omni Science. Oh, baby, we're taking that for sure. Eh, probably not, though. Does so mana Zoe or mana have any color? I'll just take Oblivion Ring. We don't know what the future holds. Eh, Disciple's a fine card to put in our deck and play and tap mana for. Specter? <clears throat> okay. Uh, hey, the Freebooter came back. That's pretty wild. Ulcerate? Sure, I'll take an Ulcerate. Oh, Claustrophobia? Oh, do we want Phyrexian Arena? I don't want to take too much damage. Alright, you know what? It's Phyrexian Arena. It's pretty good. Take Sanguine. Oh, Sanguine. When are you gaining life? Sanguine Bond is a combo with Soren's Vengeance, right? And Omni Science comes back. Okay. Stop calling it Omni Science! <laughs> It's, it's pronounced omniscience, guys, just in case you were. This pack's terrible for us. It could just be Fire Diamond just because it's ramp. <clears throat> and if the temple comes back, then we have a, a good way to splash red. I don't think... Oh, actually, Ambassador Claus is 1-3. It's not terrible. Oh my god, you hear that, dude? Oh, oh. I'm going to take Ambassador Laquatus, I guess. Crystal blue with persuasion. Mind Spring, which is basically just sorcery speed opportunity that's flexible. Soren Markov to go with Soren's Vengeance. Interesting. I think it's Soren. I imagine one of these will come back. Yeah, Soren seems really good. <laughs> 
Uh, Teferi's not bad. That was a kitty yowling. That was a little man. He was going, Mow. Oh, oh. That's how we do. Oh, terror seems great. Terror seems like what we're looking for here. <clears throat> what isn't what we're looking for here? If not Spectre, you kind of meh. Disciple of the Ring, you kind of meh. Leviathan, Shadowborn Demon, Fleshbag Marauder. I mean... Probably just take Fleshbag. Blackmail. Tidebinder Mage could be fine if they play red or green. I am definitely not playing the Signs of Omni this time, buddy. I, I Yeah, I'm like, are we really not getting either tutelage? It seems really sad, but... Essence Scatter seems great. This is a pretty good looking control deck, though. I mean, we also have Sanguine Bond plus Sorn plus Sorn's Vengeance. That's kind of cool. I really love Thopter Spy Network, but there's no realistic way that we're casting it. We only have Sky Diamond as literally the only... I'd rather just have Doom to center, which is just a fine body. Eh, Peak. Peak, obviously, better when we have the... Um, the tutelages that... Uh... <laughs> Uh, take it easy, David. Take it easy. I'm gonna take Fairy Conclave. Oh, Wildfire. Okay, that's good. None of these cards matter, so. Is Sanguine Bot good enough for just Soren and Soren's Vengeance? Probably not, right? I think that's too cute, but these two are very good. They do keep us alive. What, did none of those blue cards come back? That's pretty wild. Oh my god, Yale is raiding me? What a time to be alive. Yeah, I actually have to... Hold on, let me follow you. Oh my god, Ashley, what's up? Oh my god, Yale and Ashley at the same time. This is amazing. What a time to be alive. Yeah, I have to follow you so I know when you go live. I'd really love to catch one of your, one of your streams, my dude. I think this is our deck. Yeah, I'm fine with all this. Oh, I guess Brill Effigy is pretty decent, right? This card's fine. We take out for it. It may be evacuation? I mean, returning all creatures is not as good when we have, like, Chasm Skulker who gets big, Xanthid Necromancer token, Freebooter. I'm going to take Freebooter out. I just don't like Freebooter that much. That's what it comes down to. 9 8? Sure, 9 8 seems good. I'm in. You hear those geese? I hear no geese. Well, that's sad. Yeah, I'll keep this in. Crystal blue. Every time I hear crystal blue persuasion, I think of uh, solely Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad might be my favorite show. Breaking Bad and Justified are definitely in my top three. Hmm. 
Okay, so we have three drop, four drop, five drop, six drop. Look at this seventh edition art on both of these cards. It's so. I don't want to be insulting, but it's so bad. It's not their best work, right? I'm going to kill this thing. <clears throat> All right, now we need some lands. I don't foresee us milling them a tremendous amount here, but... Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I wanted to pop in to say I love this simulation remote because I control my buddy Neo. That's actually kind of funny. You're welcome. Oh, that's what that's exactly what we wanted. I don't want to be discarding a lot of these cards, I'll be honest with you, but I think we can discard Evacuation. They have nothing, so if they go 5-drop, we can confiscate. Maybe we can't, because we don't have any don't have enough mana for it. <laughs> Game Frank, WoW Shadow. Yeah, we'll just get rid of Evacuation here. <clears throat> WoW Shadow Land Stream when? That's a good question. Get that Vengeance out of there. You would have me destroy my win condition? How dare you. I like the way you look. Get in there. Man, attacking with Am Ambassador Laquatus? What a time to be alive. Ooh, let's not have six of the turn. We have Teferi on board. All right. Are they just not going to do anything? Uh, what? I has a confuse. Eh, get rid of the vengeance. All right, you got it. Wow, this is rough. Draw a card and discard a card. Oh, there's got to be lands in here somewhere, right? Maybe we'll be milling. Oh, we just win the we win the game. Wow, we would have drawn Nexus of Fate, and next turn we would have drawn land. Okay. Would have discarded Nexus of Fate there. Well, that was a fun one. That was a match. That was the match. See, this is these are my this is how it goes. I either get absolutely crushed, or my opponent concedes in the first game. I, I don't personally understand why, but alright. It's uh that is their oh, and the chat's gone, and then the chat just disappears in the second game, so that's a thing. Keep this. <clears throat> it's a good hand. Whew, what a what a roller coaster! What an emotional roller coaster here. I mean, I gotta cook dinner soon, so it's probably for the best. But you know, oh, another mono green deck, another fauna shaman. This is the same fucking deck. What's going on right now? Oh my god, this is very strange. I play a mono green deck where my opponent casts a fauna shaman. Shama, cast the fun of Shama. Um, yeah, we're just playing this guy. And then doesn't I don't you know what? Don't try to understand it. It's just too complicated. You're discarding Primeval Titan. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. To to get a Druid of the Cowl and play that. Okie dokie. Oh, it's old Necky. Necky McNeckerson. I kind of want a Teferi here. Because I think with Chasm Skulker, it's just very good. Sift? I'll get rid of Doom Dissenter here.
I like the way you are. No. <laughs> oh boy. And they didn't do anything here. Alright, so we're just gonna win this game too, it seems like. Let's get rid of a swamp. This guy's already a 5-5? Five five? Oh, Soren Markovia. Um, You know what? We'll draw. If it's a land, I'm just going to pitch it. Is it time stop? I can pitch time stop. Should I attack with this guy? Well, I would probably play Soren Vengeance even without Soren Markov, because 10 damage is just a nuts. That's a nuts amount of damage, but having Soren Markov definitely, definitely helps. Oh, they're going to activate in response. And they got a Nissa. I'm going to counter that Nissa so hard. They're going to be like, hey, dang, how'd you cut that Nissa so hard? I'm going to be like, I'll never tell. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep, that'll do. Well, at least we get a second game out of this one. That was good. Okay. Okie dokie. Shame can see coming in. Where did you buy that invisible water bottle? Uh, invisible water bottle Emporium. They're kind of a big deal. You know what? I'll keep this hand. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. What do you think of that deck I sent you? I haven't taken a look at the deck yet. Because you sent it in a .dec, so i got to load it up in here. And I just haven't just haven't done it yet. But, I mean, for everything you've told me, it seems pretty alright. Let's get Lichy. Alright, so I'm probably just going to ship Nexus of Fate here. I'd rather just keep all these lands, especially in a control deck. They haven't played anything by turn 4. And they're a mono green deck with Nyssa, Druid of the Cowl, Fauna Shaman, Utopia, Tree, and I don't understand what's happening. Evacuation is pretty bad against their Thrag Tusk, so let's hope it doesn't come down to that. This guy's got Death Touch, though. That's pretty cool. You guys ever had Death Touch? That's a cool ability. They also didn't do anything there. That fascinates me. I'm fascinated. Do they want to trade with their Treetop? I will 100% do that. They did not. They're like, you know what? No, I'm good. Go down to six. I don't have anything to play here, so we're just going to net two. Get rid of Ilando. They didn't do anything. They didn't block. They didn't attack. They didn't play anything. Here comes the Ragtusk. 
I don't know what's going on right now. Time warp with nothing on board. In this economy. Unbelievable. Yeah, okay. Make a 2-2 every time a land comes into play? Sure, that's fine. We got evacuation. This has got to be good, right? We can also confiscate this. Do you guys know about that? You guys? Oh my god, they play a land, we, we soar in it. They play a land, we soar in it. <laughs> that's kind of funny. We have a lot of good answers to 2-2 two, two tokens. And uh, they're in the form of deal 2 damage to them and uh, just bounce them all. So... Fascinating. Okay. 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 We got a Mu Yanling and two lands. So now we got to actually... I think it's just Black Soren kill this, but then they actually attack. I don't think I care about that, right? Let's actually... Let's make sure that's correct. It's not time stop. It's not confiscated. I don't care about this. Ugh, you got Manly? Come on, dude. That ain't right. I mean, we're definitely going to try to evacuate next turn now. Um, so we gotta get rid of something, actually. I guess that's fine. We can pitch a thing. Could also confiscate this and start playing our lands. That's actually kind of cool. Put them all back. You got a counterspell for this, too? Wow. Alright, well, I'll just kill this. Four is not the worst. And their treetop village is gone. Hey, look at that. Who saw that coming? Got him. <laughs> that seems solid, right? I'm no expert here, but... So we block one. We could kill this for three. If we go to six, I think it's significantly worse than uh, going to five and just... Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a thing. They were like, oh, if you can kill my 1-2-2, two, two, I guess I'll just concede to you. Wow, this this draft has been like night and day from the from the previous one, so. Good grief. I win my matches. Meh. Unsubscribe. Why would you unsubscribe because of that? I mean, this with this video so far is only 35 minutes, so. Uh. 
Oh yeah, snap keep with essence scatter. And we got good old talents. So we can play this and this, which triggers the spellmaster on this guy. Deal. JK, you my special friend. Neon Tokyo, you my special friend too, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Oh, we got the combo. Combones connected to the neck bone. Oh, man. The, the longer they don't play things, the better for us it is. The control, control deck thrives on them not playing things. Oh, yeah. That's got to go. Wow, that's so good against us. Discard. Probably Brittle Effigy. Although we can play and cast that next turn. I think it's just one island here. We need more black sources for these guys. An island can still cast everything in our hand. Like, we can play Talent of the Telepath and Brittle Effigy next turn, which is pretty good. <laughs> Your first round opponent was late. Oh, that guy's good. I might just want to kill that guy. What are the odds this even hits, huh? Feels low. I'm just going to get rid of it. That guy's fine. Oh my god, let me get a black so I can just soar in the night. Oh, that'd be so good. That's also not bad. And I think we're in a position where we can probably talent of the telepath here. I don't know if we're going to hit against this deck. We literally hit nothing. It was just a mill for seven. Yep, that's what I figured. <laughs> that's unfortunate. This deck does not strike me as one that has a particularly high number of instants and sorceries, so... Glorious Anthem seems pretty good. That makes it much harder to kill your creatures. As you might imagine. Boy, not having a third black here is really... Uh... We just have to pass here. I think we're really just trying to soar and put them at 10 and then soar and kill them. That's our goal. <laughs> Come on. Really? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We got this. We got this. Gulp. Yeah, that's pretty bad. We got a four here. Wow, all at Teferi, huh? That bought us multiple turns. Tonebound Lich is actually a decent blocker. These both have first strike, though, so we're going to pitch the Lich. Because I think Evacuation and Terror are both better.
I mean, if we draw Black Source, we can literally go Soren, put you to 10, next turn Soren's Vengeance kill you. Like, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we're at 12. <clears throat> this is it. This is what we're doing. I mean, he has to gain life. Or play Honor of the Pure. Or pump one of these guys for two. They got it. Yep, there it is. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, never don't have that. Cool. Gonna have it. Yeah, of course they're gonna have it. Of course they have a way to pump their creatures by two. Of course they're gonna have that. Yeah. Show me my fucking shocked face. I mean, we've missed land drops for like 14 turns, so... You know, that's cool. You know what? I'll keep it because of Terror and because of Necromancer. you this guy is just a human he has no other he has no class he has no job all right that's not bad He has no job. Sure. I do want to kill this because I think it's much worse for our deck. If we draw a black source here, we can just play Soren next turn, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. Let's talent and see what happens. I feel like this has got to be better than Ambassador Laquatus. Cast a Devouring Light. You know what? I guess not. I guess I'm good. <sighs> this is how it ends. Oh, boy. Yep. Seems good. Hey, look at that. Our Soren can now only deal one damage. Okay, Island sounds good. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. What an anticlimactic draft this was from beginning to end. Really, really appreciate you watching. <laughs> Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. Uh, you can get 5% off the promo code FRANK5. You can also check out mandatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. If you guys want to support the channel, it's the only way I survive. You can subscribe or follow on Twitch takes five seconds to do it shouldn't really be a problem it's a great way to support the content that you're consuming right now thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time